So um, welcome to all of you. Uh, I'm really pleased that we're doing our third in a series of uh, webinars together with Travel Audience. It's part of the Recovery, Recovery Alliance series that we're doing here at the Digital Tourism Think Tank. And this episode is all about how to take a lead on your strategy to bring visitors back. And of course, I'm welcomed once again by Signa and Brigitte from Travel Audience, but I'm very pleased and honored to be welcomed by Mrs. Petra Hedhofer, who is the CEO of the German National Tourist Board, who's going to be sharing some really great insights on how they're using data. So welcome, first of all, to all of you and especially to Petra. Thank you, Nick. So we're in very uncertain times. And of course, data is more important than ever right now. So um, to kick off, I'd like to go first of all to Signa and ask you about how destinations are normally working with data when it comes to planning their activities and how are things impacted right now uh, when we consider uh, the huge disruption to travel that COVID has caused? Well, it's it's certainly not one fits all when it comes to, to data and destinations, as, as all of us will agree. So most of the time it's finding the right combination that suits the needs of each destination. So to sum it up, I would say it's all about making the decision making process easier to to making strategic decisions based on data rather than guessing. That would be so to sum it up more particularly when it comes to marketing activities on normal circumstances. It would be about defining your ideal visitors, so knowing who you want to attract, first of all, and then more particularly at what time when would be a good time to launch a marketing campaign. What has, happen what has happened now is that we kind of have to reinvent the wheel and look at the patterns from the very beginning. So when normally the historic data was pretty reliable and we could assume that what happened the year before would also happen this year, it's no longer the case. So now we see the destinations are very actively uh, following the data on micro level, weekly basis rather than monthly. So it's really about identifying the change as soon as possible. And it's interestingly, it's not only about planning. Also, when we think about marketing, data comes in uh, when it comes to optimization and even measuring the campaigns as well. So uh, it's again looking for those changes to know which channel is working better or maybe what should be changed to make the campaign even more effective. And essentially, the booking data is then what allows to measure the performance, essentially. So you can know how many actual visitors you have attracted by following the booking data. And interestingly, many destinations, uh, they don't only look at their performance, but they're also looking at their competitors. So, for example, with the booking data, you can see who is already reserving for the months to come. So you can already know if for the upcoming months, your offer is more appealing than that of your competitors, or on contrary, you maybe need to do something more extra because your competitors seem to be getting uh, slightly more bookings. So it, it's really different for each destination and some of them even go one step further and combine the data they could get from us or from other partners with data they get on their side or from stakeholders so really on many times this actually goes even beyond advertising and marketing right so thanks a lot for that insight i think one of the key things i take from that is that the time frames um, have really changed when we think about using data from much longer term planning and looking at trends uh, over time to, to much, much shorter term time frames, which require us to be very agile and adaptable as organizations. So Petra, I'd like to go to you and, and um, have your perspective from the G uh, German National Tourist Board. Um, I think one of the things that we've seen from the data so far is that uh, Germany has actually fared uh, very positively uh, when we look at things relatively. Um, so it's a testament to how things have been handled, I think, um, in Germany. So how is your organization using data when it comes to strategy and planning your activities? Uh, first of all, thank you for having me, Nick, and great pleasure talking together this morning. Um, yes, indeed, we are very much focused on data analytics since years. If I may say, all of our decisions are data driven and we, we use data when we de develop campaigns, when we asset market trends and volumes, and of course, when we make investment decisions. I think this is very important. Uh, we look at data from all possible perspectives, helping us to gain knowledge about the output uh, of our past actions, about uh, what's relevant today, and also helps us look at future scenarios. Our focus is 
um, not domestic market, just to mention it. It is incoming uh, to Germany and we analyze the data on travel patterns collected by market research companies and international tourism associations like UNWTO, WTTC, especially when it comes to revenue issues or, for example, ETC. We used to work together at those days very closely and started uh, focusing on data. It is, I guess, Nick, 10 years now. Indeed. <laughs> or, or longer, oh God. <laughs> we also use global trend data and booking data by global distributions. And we are very thankful for this recovery um, task force together with travel audience. Um, we are sharing so much information and learning every day. We are using flight monitorings like forward key, very important for us to see from hub to hub destination what's going on. And especially there, we use also, as Signe mentioned, the benchmark issues so we can see how our competitors are performing and can closely take into action um, in reshaping things. Of course, we work with OTCs, Expedia, TripAdvisor, Trip.com for China especially, and we learn very much uh, from their data and their sharing confidential or more uh, relaxed, uh, very important issues uh, on a monthly base basis with us. Furthermore, um, let me think about it. We are monitoring the perception of the brand destination. So we can also have this outside looking in uh, customer's perception, uh, the nation brand index. Uh, we work since before 06. Uh, so it's a long series of, uh, of uh, valuable data we can look inside concerning the image of our destination. And one of our most valuable assets are, of course, the market-specific insights we gain through our local offices, which cover over 40 source markets. You know that we have 31 offices, but uh, responsible for 50 markets. So it's a huge data volume we are looking monthly in. Together, it provides the basis for our global marketing strategy, of course, and also for international market-specific campaigns. One important part of our data management is also the performance monitoring. Uh, and we have defined KPIs, key performance indicators for each company area in order to measure all of our marketing activities worldwide. Voila. Wow, that's quite impressive. And it's um, I think what, what you what you really share there is uh, the, the vast array of data that you you bring together um, from so many different sources and so many different types of data and um, how important those partnerships are, uh, especially when those partnerships are built around data. So um, fascinating insight there. And in particular, that point about the market office is providing that really crucial understanding yeah. and data from the markets, which I guess is more important than ever right now. Absolutely. To understand that they're... Um, their feelings and their aspirations for travel. So if we look at um, the recovery, um, how have you been using data to navigate your way through this recovery period? Yeah, this is a very, a very um, important question you are pointing out. Uh, I think COVID-19 was, without being cynical, the ultimate proof that management decisions must be based on data. I mean, we all lost a lot of money during that period of lockdown and, of course, uh, also psychologically, um, all these changes. So to learn about the new anticipated mindset of travelers without data, it wouldn't be possible. And of course, it was not the, the, the looking back, but right off the bat, we commissioned several surveys. So we, we did activities and focused uh, online interviews and a lot of things. Uh, looking at quantitative recovery, re renowned tourism economics, uh, TE, elaborated a scenario for us. I think ETC and a lot of our competitors or friends in Europe uh, did so. So we had very quick um, forecasting what's going on in all this market concerning incoming to us. So we could see the recovery trends in every source market and uh, we will do this uh, three times also in the upcoming months so there can we can uh, compare and share uh, the developments so really using the data regularly yes <laughs> yeah. yeah and for the sentiment survey um, we also did with ipk international 
uh, a lot of uh, questionnaires and interviews um, and to see the trouble pans, the intentions, the restrictions and perceptions concerning our destination. So making an example, um, the study found out that Germany is perceived as the safest country to travel to. Forgive me for saying, but this is word of mouth of customers regarding to the COVID crisis. So we learned in each market, is there more concern or not, and so on. Together with the search and booking data from travel audience and others, we get the best possible picture of the current and future recovery scenario. So when we campaigned our first campaign again, this was Discover from Home during that period, uh, Discover Germany from Home uh, during that lockdown period, we also had um, ongoing the planning of the campaign already fresh data, yeah, insights of our users' behavior. So to sum it up, we are very active with data. It is very cost intensive, I have to say so, but it's even better to use the money first to be aware um, and target the audience and see clearly what's going on in, in, in the mindset of our uh, customers uh, and then also invest in campaign. But without that first step, it, in my on my point of view, it, it would not make sense. Yeah, so I think what you really share there is um, how important that data is to feed into the, those management decisions that we increasingly have to take uh, more frequently um, and as we can assess the situation. So uh, not only shortening the time frame of using data, but also um, using data in a very, very robust way as part of the management process, which I think is a different reflection to how we often think about data, which is using data in technology and using data um, to automate solutions and things like that. But of course, data as information is hugely powerful to make the right decision, to make the right assessment of a market. So I guess uh, you've learned a lot over this um, period. We all have, I think. And what have your learnings been um, from, from the perspective in the German National Tourist Board? Oh, thank you for asking. I can assure you there is a new learning every day. Of course, we all depend on data as you managed and we are still in the recovery stage, probably like all destinations worldwide. So it's an ongoing daily process, sharing data, looking very deep inside. Um, we do see a pent up in demand. This is one of our first learnings, not only for hotel bookings, but also for flight bookings, slightly pent up. Um, and we are aware that it will take time. So it is uh, not a question of to, tomorrow the world will be as it used to be. So the changes are tremendous and uh, we have to redefine our strategies, no doubt about it. So customers' values seem to change um, concerning our learning, safety, quality issues, sustainability, uh, and service are seemingly becoming more important. Um, so. From our point of view, branding and communicating uh, Destination Germany, at the moment we are much more focusing on nature orientation and outdoor activities. That's what we learned when we searched um, all this data and the focus of our brand falls on our core assets at the moment. So campaigning is nature, outdoor activities, and of course it will be probably during this uh, recovery period, um, an ongoing process, yeah. So I think uh, what you've shared there about that focus is really um, what we've seen uh, many destinations uh, shifting the focus. Uh, often from from the city offer to to nature and it's perhaps been in some ways an opportunity to showcase a, a different angle on the destination responding to those different values and those different needs that that uh, visitors have um, so i'd like to to come back to you in just a minute and get your thoughts on the future and how you will be using data in the future but I, i'd like to um, jump over to brigitte and ask um, why has data become so instrumental in travel audiences' efforts to support its clients? I think Petra said it already. So having data is the base for management decisions. And as you said, Nick, data needs to be the base for automation, which it is in travel audience and also in Amadeus. But now making data explicit to our customers and helping them 
interpret this together. So where are signs of recovery? Where can we catch demand? Are there already bookings coming? That was a super valuable initiative that our customers really appreciated and where we think collaboration is key now at this stage. In this crisis, we are not alone in travel audience and in Amadeus. Our destinations suffer, the airlines suffer, everybody of us wants to bring consumers back and make them travel again. And this is where we are in together. This is why we started this initiative. Great. So and I think this uh, partnership that uh, we're seeing between public sector and private sector, between uh, different partners uh, from the industry and the trade to the data providers and to solution providers is really, really more important than ever right now. And we've seen um, a huge sort of uh, collegial coming together uh, of all of those different forces. So um, Petra, looking to the future, how do you see yourself using data as we kind of look further forward? Uh, forecasting the future is always difficult, um, but maybe um, some insights from our side. I guess the digital transformation without data is unthinkable. In, in those days, we are talking a lot of uh, that we learned from the crisis that digitalization and data is much more um, necessary and, and also helpful for all of us. Our goal is to monitor and use data on all touch points of the customer journey. Definitely more than ever, we are looking at search patterns on booking interests and we want to provide travel data for the customer and closely monitor the feedback of the travelers given us uh, to get an interaction with our customers and also sharing this information and data. Tourism can only digitally transform with a common data language. This is, I think, very important and unhindered data flow. Our task is to provide and manage data and analyze data, but we are currently working on a common open data project. I think some of you know this uh, with our partners in Germany Tourism, and we collect and connect dynamic, static and editorial data to create a content hub, uh, which provides data, data from our tourism organization, but also customer insights to our very own knowledge graph. And this knowledge graph can be used as a database for applications that use artificial intelligence. So interaction between uh, human mankind and machines, especially for tourism, I think this is very needed. And the goal is to make the latest high quality data available for customers and of course also for us, the marketeers and the international travel industry across all channels and informations. And the data makes our great offering more visible, of course, in the international market and easier to book, convenience. Um, but we also expect to be collecting interesting searching and booking information on user behavior through this tool. So it is, uh, how do you say, uh, three dimensions. It is customer, it is the market inside. Of course, it is also the entrepreneur looking. Uh, our data-driven strategy has been the basis for all our global activities and will be maybe to sum it up even more essential in the future but uh, it is is it is technology driven thank you so i think you know to conclude what we can see is that this uh, topic of digitalization and digital transformation has really um, has really come full fold around with covid and uh, this is from management and leadership right through to technology and how we integrate technology into solutions. Uh, I think what you've shared with us is just how how essential and how necessary it is to be able to grasp and get a deep understanding of what's happening at a very granular level and how important uh, those different partnerships are in order to do that. You mentioned that you know data is, is costly, it's an investment. So if we do invest in data, which we should, it's important that we leverage all the potential and all the insights that that data can provide us, um, which, which is exactly what you've been doing there. Um, I'm really excited about the future for German National Tourist Board. I think for all destinations, there, this will be, as you said, um, a, a challenging period and a, a, a slow recovery, not an overnight bounce back. 
but uh, for sure we will get there and we will recover and we will surely uh, even grow beyond uh, how, how successful we've been over the last decade. So I think the tools that you just spoke about there are going to be critical to that recovery and also achieving that in the future. I think that's the topic for another interview to, to learn more about that dashboard. It sounds really fantastic and um, really, really ambitious as well. But uh, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank you for sharing uh, those brilliant insights uh, from your perspective, Petra, and the German National Tourist Board. Uh, thank you also for Signa and Brigitte. Uh, your perspectives from travel audience is, of course, really valuable. And the continued support through this series helps us gain a perspective um, as well as insight into how the markets are, are changing and, and adapting as we see this constantly evolving picture uh, play out. But um, for now, things look optimistic and positive. So thank you very much for sharing your insights. Thank you, Dick. All the best and stay safe and travel. Thank you. <laughs> if I, may wish. I couldn't have put it better myself. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks.